100 times, 200 balls consecutively. The incomparable, indeed the legendary, Willie Moscone. We're going to get to each of these gentlemen in just a moment because Willie was shaking his head saying no, the movie was not indeed made about Minnesota Fats, but we'll let him explain that. And in the meantime, let me quickly explain what we're going to be seeing during the course of this competition. Five forms of pocket billiards. Nine ball, eight ball, rotation, straight pool, and one pocket. Each will be explained at the appropriate time. Now, Fats... You came up, you had something to say, and earlier you told me you're going to rob Willie. What do you mean? That's exactly right, and what else I'm going to tell you is Willie's over there shaking his head, and you got in your pocket three months before the movie ever came out. Willie was interviewed just like he's being interviewed last night and today and last year and last week, and he said that they was going to expose me as a pool hustler, the greatest pool hustler in the world. You got it in the very words right there. You can read it out to the people. And it said that the real Minnesota fats is none other than New York fats, known better as New York fats. There it is in the giant. Now, Willie's been telling people that I ain't the one. Well, who was it gonna, if they, if they wasn't describing me in a movie, The Hustler, why didn't they make a movie about Willie? I'd have racked the balls. All right, so much for Fats' position. I said there was apparent open hostility. Come back here, Fats. Let's turn to Willie, your rejoinder. Well, all I can say is a gentleman by the name of Walter Tevis out in Ohio, <coughs> pardon me, Howard, <clears throat> that wrote the book, and in the book, he states that it's a fictional story. <laughs> so now, what would you say? Were you a consultant to the film? I was. I was on it for four and a half months. All right. We've established uh, the grudge between the two men. <laughs> However, unwittingly, we did. First time I seen Gleason in Miami, after the movie, he sit there, he says, Fatty, did they take care of you? I wind up with all the cash in the show. They had done all the work. I wound up with all the gold. All right, you're going to get your chance now. It's the showdown match. Fats against Willie Moscone. The first competition, nine ball. The two players will flip for break. Let's go. Diamond shape rack, nine ball, best of nine in the series, and they're even arguing about what to wear. That's for monkeys, a man. A pool player with a question. Now here's a question. I told him at the Commodore, a pool player with a tuxedo is like putting ice cream on a hot dog. We know you're a <laughs> It's one of the promoters trying to officiate the squabble. You understand? I let everybody make the rule, because I'm going to win anyway. Why don't we have it out in the play? And after it's over, we'll play some All right, Willie agrees. There'll be no wearing of coats. We'll be back for the start in just a moment. I can't believe they can do it for 1999. It's all... Play ping pong with a tuxedo on. Try to get the seat, please. Yeah, that's, that's another seat. Well, I gotta sit down too. Right. Well, you needed a flip gun and a gas mask. We didn't have no evening attire. Just sit down. When I played Niston Bull for the Sultan, this is how I said All right, now hold quiet. Okay, Mr. Moscone. Okay, well, he's about to break. Remember, I said they'll be playing five different forms of pool. They begin with nine ball, and in effect, the first one to win three of the nine types ball, is the ball. victor. Nine? Nine any time, fast, long as you call it. What I got is the one, you call the one, the two, the two. <laughs> That's the way they play nine ball in Siberia. In Siberia, they play nine ball, you shoot. Just to clarify that little exchange, Willie Moscone set the rules. Fats said he didn't care. He'd play by whatever rules Fats uh, Willie set. And now Fats is learning the rules for the first time. 
And the key rule is you have to call your shot. Now that shot was not called, so the ball will come back. You have to hit the balls in rotation, of course. The one first, the two second, and so on up. But combinations are allowed. So here we go. Well, it looks like he's going to try to bank the two ball, and we should take a look at the way he's going to try to make that shot. Bank the two ball. That's it. Nope. Two ball goes into the wrong pocket, so up it comes. Fats's confusion, as I mentioned, over the rules is Two because he didn't pocket. even want the explanation in advance. Okay, well, he sank the two. Now he's calling the three. Perfect. Four ball. Well, he calling the balls in rotation, remember? They must be hit in rotation. And Willie wanted the right to call your shots as part of the rules because he wanted to take the element of luck out of the game. This is a man who ran once 526 Five. consecutive balls. Fats looking on intently as Willie is doing away with the table one by one. Six ball corner pocket. Now watch how beautifully he will play position, setting himself up for the next ball, leading up to the object Seven ball, the nine ball. Sink that one, you win the game. Perfectly back for the eight ball. Eight. And let's watch. Ideal position to sink the nine ball. It's possible to run the whole pocket. table. Missed the nine ball. The opponent sinks the nine game ball. He wins the game. game. Not now. Willie wins the first game in the nine ball competition. We'll be back. Great pool shootout. Willie Moscone against Minnesota Fats. The nine ball competition underway. Best of nine wins the series. Moscone leading one game to none. Moscone likes total quiet. Fats likes to destroy the opponent with talk. Thus this earlier conversation. Is it going to be possible under our rules of procedure for you to remain quiet while Willie shoots? He, of course, has to remain quiet let me while you shoot. Let me tell you a secret. I can play as if I was deaf and dumb. I can play if you was, had a gang war in the joint. That don't mean nothing to me. Whatever you want to do, I do it nice. And when I leave, I leave with the cash. You understand? I don't care what goes on. I wouldn't care if they were shooting bow and arrows or having a Western movies. and That don't bother me. You understand? 99 out of 100 pool players, you ain't allowed to breathe. Guy was playing a world championship at a match, and a guy in the back, he's shooting him. The whole table's open. And, and some sucker took a cigarette out of his mouth like this. He ain't even supposed to see it. And he says, good heavens. My God, did you see what that, what'd he do to me? He say, I said, what'd he do to you? I was sitting right there. And he said, didn't you see just I'm going to let go? He took a cigarette. I says, well, if I were you, I'd play in a wax museum. And then if anybody moves, then I'd get out of town. <laughs> well, well, he's ready for the break. Fats looks like he's getting out of town. He's almost out of the arena. Fats. Referee calls Fats back, Chicken and here he comes. What happened? <laughs> I want you to watch closely, because here's a chance. Yep, he's going to try the combination and trying to win the game right here on the very first shot, as the diagram just displayed. He was using the one ball to hit the nine into the corner, and it didn't work. So Willie's got the one ball easily set up. One ball corner. Don't forget, you have to hit in rotation. Lowest ball on the table. Combinations are allowable. And you can't give Moscone an opening. Not with his ability at straight pool. That's his top game. Two ball. 
And in effect, this becomes straight pool for Willie. That was a remarkable shot, folks. It required a delicacy. Let's look at it again. You'll see what I mean. No margin for error. Look how closely that ball avoids the purple or four ball. Watch in slow motion. And that's the magic, ladies and gentlemen, of Willie Moscone as we watch the cue ball and then freeze. Ultimately, the cue ball came to rest where you'll see it Three ball right corner now, pocket. back there. And Fats is beginning to look a little dubious about the talents of Moscone. Dubious in the sense of, can I compete with him when you have to call your shots? But now Moscone has a problem. Remember, the nine ball is the object of the game. And remember, too, Moscone leads one game to none in the best of nine nine ball competition. Four ball corner pocket. Four other forms of pool are scheduled in the total competition. Nice shot by Fats. Let's watch his position. Back against the five ball. Tough situation. Now let's look at what he's going to have to try. Side pocket with the five. Banking he's going to try to bank it. He's a great bank player, but that time he just missed. And you can't leave Moscone an opening. He can kill you. Five ball corner pocket. Each player has been given expenses in advance. Six and ball the corner pocket. Winner of the overall match gets $15,000. And right here you see Moscone again. Setting himself Seven up. Seven ball, corner pocket. Eight. Eight now ball. he's got the eight, but must leave himself spotted for the nine. And he's done exactly that. Nine ball, corner pocket. Game with the Moscone. So Moscone leads in the nine ball competition, two games to none, and we'll be back. We're back at the nine ball competition between Willie Moscone and Minnesota Fats. Game three just underway. Moscone leading two games to none. Won the second game by running the five through the nine balls after a miss by Fats. The two men differ sharply in personalities and in their approach. Thus, this earlier conversation. Willie, it's been said that each of you, Fats and you, has everything to lose and nothing to gain by this match. In other words, you are the straight pool artist of the world. Everybody knows your records. Fats, at the same time, is one of the renowned and colorful, colorful figures in the history of the game. What is your response to that? Well, yes, uh, that's right to a certain extent, but I look at it from another angle. This is something I haven't done for a long while, uh, Howard. I haven't been in competition, as you know. And I look at, I look at it uh, upon it as a fun thing. It's something a little bit different. He may think he has everything to lose. I certainly don't. Well, if it's a fun thing, Willie doesn't show it. The attitude couldn't be more serious. <laughs> he is working on the two ball. Bank the two ball, cross corner. Now, this is a remarkable effort he's undertaking. I don't believe that shot. We're going to have to take a look at the way he executed it. Now watch closely. Couldn't have to have more delicacy in the shot execution than this one required. Inside the black or eight ball and into the designated pocket. Remarkable. And notice he still moves inside the eight ball to sink the three. Now, boys. 
little movement in the crowd has disturbed Willie. Remember, he said it was a ball, fun ball, pocket. Look at him now. Perfect. And he's got perfect position. Bridge roll. For the orange or fog ball. He's called for the bridge. You are entitled to use the bridge, thus keeping your feet on the ground if the balls Five are ball, awkwardly situated, as is the case here. A miscue. It's almost a miracle. Moscone himself doesn't believe it. Now, Fats is eight called the eight ball. ball. Let's look at this. Eight ball. He can't sink the five, but he must hit the five first. And in combination, a magnificent the five. bank shot by Fats. He also gets credit for the five. Remember, balls must be hit in rotation. So six it's the ball, six ball pocket. coming up. Fats plays position beautifully. This was the first opening, and Moscone realizes Seven ball, corner pocket. he gave it to Fats with the miscue. Nine ball, corner pocket. The object ball of the game, a nine ball. Game Fats. Fats wins it. We've got a contest. Moscone, two. Fats, one in the nine ball competition. We'll be back. of basketball scores for you in Atlantic Coast. Made a movie in Hollywood starring Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason called The Hustler. Consultant on the movie was the famed Willie Moscone. Gleason plays a character in the movie called Minnesota Fats. In the real life, Minnesota Fats says that the character was predicated upon him, Minnesota Fats. But Willie Moscone says that's absolute nonsense. He says the character was based upon a figure in the novel The Hustler. Thus, the hostility between the two. The film was based on my life story. And at that time, you couldn't give me a thousand dollars a minute to fool with movies or television or nothing because I just never worked a day in my life and don't care nothing about being involved. You understand? And this guy's big and fat and looks somewhat like Gleason. Oh, that was my life. That was this. That Minnesota, he never saw Minnesota in his life prior to that. He was from New York City. In fact, I don't think he had enough money to get out of New York City to get to Minnesota. <laughs> the two men, so totally different in lifestyle and personality, even differ in the manner in which they practice their trade. For instance, with Fats, he works on the trick shot like this one, sinking four balls at one time. This is called the railroad shot. I'm gonna make the yellow ball in the left-hand corner, the blue ball in the right-hand corner, cue balls going all around the table, go through these tracks, change tracks, and come back and make the three ball. Making a one, two, and a three. Fats absolutely disdains Moscone's specialty, straight pool. Straight pool, you know what straight pool is? A cancer. Straight pool, they quit in 30 how many years ago is that? Forty some years ago? Ain't no living human. They used to play for a pack of cigarettes. You know how much cigarettes was in them days? A dime a pack. Dime a pack. Camels, Luckies, all of them. I don't even know the names of them because I don't smoke. But there was a dime a pack. And they used to play a hundred balls for a pack of cigarettes. I was playing like five hundred or a thousand a game. This is what we call the championship game. The rest of the game, bats and the rest of the boys play a luck game. An eight ball a game such as that, you just hit them as hard as you can, and if you get lucky, you make balls while you keep them. This game right here, you're going to have to call the ball, call the pocket. I've been looking forward to this match for a long time, and this time, I'll kill him. Coming up, Willie Moscone has won games four and five and leads four games to one over Minnesota Fats. The break. The nine ball went in, goes in on the break, up and down. So, the referee spots the nine ball. Now, remember, if Moscone wins this game, he has won the nine ball competition. 
It's a best of nine competition, and coming up next will be the eight ball competition, which will again be a best of nine. Two balls set. on a pocket. Well, he's got the ball spread just the way he wants them. And Fats, despite the smile, knows Three he's on, on the pocket. precipice of extinction. Again, the master plays position for the four ball, the purple ball, right in front of you. Four ball. Four ball, corner pocket. Beautiful shot. Five ball, side pocket. Sink the nine ball. Seven ball That's side the pocket. object ball of the game. Moscone running the table. Eight ball corner pocket. Now he's got exactly the position he wants. He's set to pocket the nine ball and side. win the nine ball nine competition. Ball, corner pocket. Nobody can believe what just happened. Well, if Nicholas can miss a four footer. I guess the world's greatest pool shooter. That's what he should have done right there, but watch. What should have been a hanger became a flub. Well, the balls, of game course, Fats. wound up in that position. Fat sank the nine ball and won the game. That's the object of the game, to sink the nine or object ball. So, Fat stays alive. The score, four games to two, Moscone. Coming up, game seven of the nine ball competition. Moscone won games four and five. Fat stayed alive, winning game six. So again, Fats must fight to remain in the nine ball competition. Fats on the break. Up comes the ball. Ball sunk on the break, are uh, respotted. Down Sadie's room. Bank the one. Magnificent bank shot out of Fats, but unfortunately a scratch. So Moscone will take over. They'll respot the one. And that's what Willie will have to go after. Fats joins the crowd. One ball, corner pocket. Moscone knows he has but to win the game, and he's got a nine ball competition won. Fats knows it. Two ball too. corner. Well, he scratches and leaves the two ball in a hanger position for the side pocket for Fats. Two ball Fats. The thing about Fats is, despite all the talk, the man's a great player, and he responds to challenge. He never, or seemingly two ball never, side pocket. loses his confidence. Delicately done. Perfect position for the three. This is a tinder shot. <laughs> we should have another look at that one because that, well, there it is. Now watch. That's the path the ball had to take. It almost looked like a half miscue. Now watch this. <laughs> Just inside and down it goes. Is there a doubt? <laughs> Four ball corner. Irrepressible. Minnesota Fats, 65 years old. Willie Moscone, 64. And yet the skills seem untrammeled. Five ball corner pocket. And that's the very shot that Willie missed in game three. Remember, Moscone took the bridge and miscued. And that's what set up Fats' victory in that game. But Fats didn't miss Q. His real name, by the way, is Rudolph Six ball, Wanderon Jr. Rudolph Wanderon Jr. 
Again, a half miss cue, but the shot succeeded. Seven ball. Don't the forget pocket. two. Each player has gotten substantial expenses in advance, and the winner of the total competition gets fifteen thousand dollars. Fats is doing away with them one by one, running the table. Nine ball, corner pocket. He is about to stay alive again. He wins. So we've got a competition going. Four games to three. Moscone leads in the nine ball. We'll be back. Only two miles to go, Slugger. That's easy. Moscone studying the table, reflective, suddenly aware that he's in a struggle. A nine ball competition now standing at four ball, games to three. His favor, but Fats shooting. Game eight underway. One ball. Two ball corner pocket. Fats looks so casual. Left himself in tough position here. He's got to try the three ball and have to do it the way you just saw a diagram. Goes to Moscone. If he wins this game, he wins the nine ball competition. Fats must win to stay alive. First time these two men have met in about 30 years. And fully close. They have many disagreements, one of which is over what really happened the last time they met and who really won. Four ball, corner pocket. <laughs> How lucky can you get? I want you to see that one again because he called the corner pocket, the four ball, everything perfectly right. Now watch. Everything right but the way he executed the shot. But look at this. Four ball caroms off, the white ball hits it again, and in she goes to the designated pocket. Over here. Five ball. Moscone sees a shot like that, he wonders what's going on. But Fats misses the attempted bank on the five ball, which in this competition has become the bugaboo ball. And Willie proves the point again. He flubs what appeared to be an easy one. But Fats is left in terrible position, and he's going to try to execute five ball corner pocket. a miracle bank shot. <laughs> Fats never loses his sense of humor. There's 16 champions over there. Well, that's right. Well, he set the rules before the match. Fats agreed. The five ball, the object ball, was behind the head spot after the scratch, and the rule is the ball goes Seven down. Ball, side pocket. Fats dismayed by the rules Eight that he's ball, coming only now to understand as Willie approaches victory. If he sinks nine this, ball, he has won pocket. the nine ball competition. There it is. Five games to three. And the two of them shake hands, and you've got to give credit to Minnesota Fats. While he was quarreling about the rules, which he didn't understand, he nevertheless was a perfect gentleman in taking the defeat. And, of course, there are four more types of pools scheduled in the open. Minnesota Fats and Willie Moscone, we pick up with the eight ball competition. Now, nearly everybody who plays pool everywhere in the country knows what eight ball is. It's the game that novices most like to play. If one contestant sinks a ring ball first, he must sink all the other ring balls and then try to sink the eight ball because whomever sinks the eight ball wins the game. At the same time, if a contestant sinks a solid ball first, he must sink all of the solid balls and then try to sink the eight ball to annex the victory. That's, you regard yourself as unparalleled in any form of... Right. Pool. 
Right, exactly right. So That's the... why I put my cash up whenever I play. That's why I come by myself. And when I leave, you understand, with guys with teeth this long, I leave, I don't want to see no heads when I hit the door. You understand the pressure? And I played one for half a million in cold cash. There was guys with teeth this long at all the exits. You understand? I get the picture. You speak yeah. with total clarity and absolute... That's right. Absolute irrelevance, yes. Very good, Tom. For you, Willie, is eight ball a game of skill or a game of luck? Mostly luck, Colin. Mostly luck. Mostly luck. There's only eight balls to knock into the pocket plus the black ball. Well, and let's that's see. It. No, it's not very hard to run eight balls, is it? You saw the nine ball game. It's not very hard if you're Willie Moscone. If you're Howard Cosell, it's impossible. All right. Getting ready to start the eight ball competition. And they're flipping for break. And Minnesota Fats is really on his game. Yeah, you know why I lose? Because I want to lose that one. So I lay a thousand to one. A nickel you call him. How do you like Fats? Hey, get up here, bring some cash. Says he wanted to lose the toss. Tactical purposes, I suppose. In the meantime, he trails one set to none in the overall competition. $15,000 going to the winner. And the nine ball competition has been won by Willie Moscone. Five to three. The break. Okay. Both balls that went down must be spotted under the rules, which were made by Willie Moscone, and Fats has had difficulty understanding them as the competition has been going along. Nineteen four, me and Willie played one for a coffee cake. <laughs> and he's been mad at me ever since. I wound up with the kick. Yeah, I wound up with your money, too. I know you did. <laughs> After this is over, stay a while. Yeah, how about now? No, I'll tell you what, now we'll play a little one pocket, 500. No, no, we'll play the rest of the match for anything you want to play for. I can't stand it when you're making the rules. Uh, anything you want to play for? You got back or will you get, get the money? Back? I got nothing well, but money. how much money. you want to bet? Play you some a thousand a game. No, no, how much do you want to bet on the remembers? Oh, this, what are you kidding or what? This is a carousel. Oh, okay. Are you kidding? You want to you want to bet on a specific? I game. want to play you some one snack one for a thousand a game. Here. I want to play you a hundred points for a hundred thousand a game. And I wouldn't play a hundred points if you played well, me hundred ninety nine. Sit down. Huh? I'll play you some. I'll tell you now. I'll play you some banks or some bank every other ball. That's half straight pool, half bank. All right, let's finish the eight ball. And don't no monkeys get no ideas because I'm the toughest of the. No. <laughs> Philadelphia and anywhere else, they don't get no, no funny ideas. Come on, Fats. Sit down. Let's finish this one off. I never see one like me. I fought two revolutions and went down on two ships in the middle of the ocean. Let's finish this, Fats. I never see one like me. I better get down there, straighten this thing out, get what? the pool started. Yeah, come on, Fats. Sit down. Come on. Fatty. <laughs> you gonna let this go on? In fact, let's get back in the seat. Okay. Now here's one of his country, man. Let's go. Right. Come on. Right, Come on. Come on. This is an Ali operation. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Sit down. Let's go. Be a good boy. Let's go, Willie. <laughs> Willie. All right, we're finally Ten ready ball. to go. After all of that, I want to re-emphasize. Willie Moscone made the rules with Fats' agreement. Seven ball, side pocket. Okay, Willie Moscone sinking the solid balls. One through seven, the object ball of the game, ball. the eight ball. The man who sinks the eight ball wins. Now watch this. That's the way the ball's got to go. Just had room to get through. 
Now, if you sink the eight ball before you've sunk all of your balls, you lose the game. The job is to sink the one through the seven. For Moscone, the ring balls must be sunk by Fats, and then sink the eight ball, you win. Everybody beat me. That's why I got nothing but money. Totally rich. Six brand new Cadillacs. Every time a bird flies over one, I buy another. <laughs> Sleeping president's limousine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, Willie. I'm all through, dear. He's finished. He's finished. I'm sorry He's finished. I disturbed you. <laughs> There's no let up with Minnesota fats, and he knows he gets under Willie's skin the more he talks. In the meantime, Willie's not in the best position in the world. He's going to try to play the one ball up there in the far left-hand corner on the left-hand side of your screen. One ball. The word for that, folks, is incredible. There can be no other word. That is what you call a mass say. We're going to take another look at it. Now watch closely. He has to make that ball curve, just as you saw the dotted line there. That's what we call masse, as I said. And he does exactly that. Now, he still has to have control of that ball, the control coming from the way he used his cue, because that cue ball's got to get down there, and it caroms the one ball in. A remarkable, remarkable demonstration of Six skill. Ball. Willie scratches. After the great shot, a duffer's shot. We'll be back. Okay, girls, let's This is game one. Best of nine. That's the series in eight ball, just as it was in nine ball, which was won by Moscone, five games to three. Now, Moscone established the rules for each of the contests in advance with the permission and consent of Fats. Fats didn't even want to listen to them at the time. Thus, there's been much bickering about the rules during the course of play today. Moscone, meantime, is working on the solid colors, and one of the rules he established for this, the eight ball competition, was that you have to call your shots. Sometimes people play eight ball not on that condition, but it is the condition here, and he wanted it that way in order to bring as much skill to the contest as possible. He's six ball. left himself perfect position for the six ball, as you can see. Moscone, a master of position play. But now he has a tough shot. He's got to sink the eight ball to win. That's the object of the game. Cross side He's with going the to try to bank it into the opposite side pocket. He must get by the nine ball. He does it. Moscone is simply amazing when it comes to precision play. Now I want you to take another look at that shot. Task, get the cue ball, pass the nine ball, hitting the eight ball first as required, and then bring that eight ball past the red ring ball as barely room. And still, he does it. So he wins the first game of the eight ball competition, leading Fats one game to none. Note how quickly he broke. No sooner did the referee rack up the balls then Willie broke, and he's left a pretty wide open table for Fats, who is suddenly now growing silent, not talking anymore, but rather absorbed with the fact that he's in a battle. He's going to work on the solid balls, calling the two easy combination. And the bridge, as you know, is allowed in order that the contestant can keep his feet on the ground as required by the rules when the balls are awkwardly placed. And so the bridge was used effectively by Fats. Seven ball. 
Don't think for a moment. Fats isn't a master of position play himself. It's just that he does it casually. One ball. Sconey does it with an intense seriousness. Fats is 65 years of age. The real name, Rudolph Three. Wanderon Jr. Moscone is 64 years of age. And in the total competition, with five forms of pool scheduled, the winner five ball. gets $15,000. The winner, of course, is the man who first wins three sets. We've had nine ball. This is eight ball. Fats is working on the table. Moscone watching with a growing discomfiture. Eight ball, four in a pocket. Now he's right up to the victory. Game. Fats runs all the solids, puts away the eight, ties the eight ball competition, one game apiece. We'll be back. It has been said that neither you nor Willie has anything to gain by meeting in this match because... And them things never enter my mind whether to gain or lose anything. All I ever know about is winning something. I never was a loser in my life. You understand? If I can win 1100, I'll try to win it. You understand? I don't know nothing about all them ifs and how did you become a legend and how did you get great? Did you play all your life? All that's automatic. I come up just like any other living human. I hung around saloons and pool rooms all my life. I don't drink and don't smoke. And I was a top-notch card player and pool player when I was eight years old. I don't know all that other jive that goes with it, you know what I mean? I don't know nothing about it. I know Willie's a good player, and I know that he plays me for cash. He ain't got no chance on earth. He's got a better chance of swimming from here to Arabia underwater. We pick up with the eight-ball competition. This is game four between Willie Moscone and Minnesota Fats and Moscone is running out the ring balls and setting himself up to sink the object ball of the game, the eight ball. Moscone leads two games to one in the eight ball competition. He has won the nine ball competition. Ball, A tough encounter, five games to three. And now he leads three games to one in the eight ball competition. The whole mood has changed here in the starlight roof of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in the heart of New York City, where there had been constant badinage and bickering and clear hostility between the men. Now it has suddenly grown quiet. The six ball went in on the break. It will be spotted, but that establishes the color. Let's take another look at the break. By establishing the color, I mean that means that Moscone will have to, as you watch the six ball go in, go for the solid color balls. The ring balls will be Fats's game. Always remember when you're watching Moscone, he is thinking two, three, four shots ahead. Often the whole table. But he didn't like what he just did. The six ball was spotted on the break. That's the way Moscone wants it. The rules established by him to reduce the element of luck Seven ball. and increase the element of skill as Moscone sees it. Again, a shot that was more difficult than it looked because he didn't have that much room to work with toward the corner pocket. Now the six ball. And Fats agreed in advance to let Moscone set the rules. He didn't even want to know about them. But as the course of play has developed, he's been increasingly disturbed by the rules. Willie, who started the entire competition nervously, even tentatively, has grown in confidence during the course of play. Scratch. Not a sound from anybody. See the whiteness on Willie's lower lip? about it earlier. 
nerves, dehydration. The four ball was spotted as a result of the scratch. And now Fats goes to work. 15. You know, part of the hostility between these two men derives from the motion picture entitled The Hustler. In that picture, Jackie Gleason played a character named Minnesota Fats. Fats contends that he was the source of the character. Willie well, Moscone was a consultant on the picture. He contends that the picture derives from a book and the author stated the characters were fictional and that the character played by Gleason bears no resemblance in fact or real life to the man at whom you're looking, Minnesota Fats, who is in the process of running out the ring ball leading up to the object game ball, the eight ball. And he eight ball. has gotten right to that object now. Beautiful shot by Fats. He's back in the thick of things. He's reduced Moscone's lead to three games to two in the eight ball competition. Score, Mr. Moscone, three. We'll be right two. back. There lies the domicile of 64-year-old Willie Moscone, 16 times world champion of pocket billiards, a quiet, sedate man, absorbed with bringing dignity to his profession. He lives quietly with his wife and daughter. But in Dowell, Illinois, two hours south of St. Louis, Missouri, there lives a different kind of man. A man of flash and color, garrulous, willing to take on anyone with words and in pool. Even his license plate tells you about him. MF stands for this man. Minnesota Fats, incredibly, two years ago suffered a stroke, was declared dead. He and Moscone don't like one another, and it goes back a long way. Well, back in 1949, I believe, was the last time I saw him. At that time, I was managing a billiard room in Philadelphia. And he was one of the customers of the place. He was hustling cards and doing any, anything he could around the place to make a dollar. So finally, he ran out of custom, customers, and he chose me. And I said, get away from me. Don't bother me. You know, I was happy that he was making a dollar and paying the room rent. So well, finally, he got so uh, obnoxious that I had to play him. Now, I played him uh, five games of his game, which I don't know anything about to this day, one pocket, and I beat him five games for $50 a game. See, if the truth is known, Willie Moscone and them trying to expose me as the greatest pool player in the world, which I always was and still am, for money. Whenever he played anybody that could play of any note, he always lost. I played Istanbul, a terrible Turk. He ain't been terrible since. I played happy to Chinaman in Hong Kong, and he ain't been happy since. He always tried to keep thinking up different games, you know, that the other player didn't know about, and he would have the knowledge, and that's how he managed to win here and there. The last time I was in New York, I had over 30,000 in cold cash, and I put it on the table to play Willie Moscone. If he wanted to play, I'd play them, or anybody else that wanted to play, but they ain't gonna put up no cash. They're gonna finally, after like 16 hours, they're gonna get 15 sponsors and play one for like 200. Well, he's always telling stories like that. No such thing ever happened. In fact, I challenged him about three years ago, and we arranged the ballroom of the Sheraton Hotel in Philadelphia for four days. We sent him an airmail registered letter telling him the date six weeks in advance. I was there that night, but he didn't show. I get 1,200 if I cough twice. <laughs> so I'm going to play some pool, $60 a game, 40 a game. Moscone wants to play something for two a game, $2 a game. He wants to play 3,000 points. You're the money player, I'm going to tell him. Let's go. So far, Willie's proving his point. He's won the nine ball. He leads in the eight ball. Solar power. This is game seven in the eight ball competition, the great pool shootout between Minnesota Fats and that man, Willie Moscone, as the lip grows whiter and whiter. Scoring games now is four games to two in the eight ball competition in favor of Moscone. 
Fats had won the fifth game, making it three to two, but Moscone came promptly back to win the sixth game. And now, after that flub shot by Fats, he may be in desperate peril. Moscone working on the ring balls. And if Willie can win this game, he will have won the eight ball competition and they will move on to the next form of pool, best of nine, called rotation. Sinking the balls in numerical order. But that's a long way away yet. Willie's got to win this one. If he can. Again, we emphasize Moscone doesn't just play one shot at a time. Like all great pool players, including, of course, Fats, he's looking ahead. He's looking to the whole lay of the table and three, four, and five shots ahead. Trying to sink the ring balls and get to the object ball of the game, the eight ball. And to the winner in the overall competition, $15,000, in addition to substantial expense monies already received by both men. Willie is going about his task steadily, purposefully. Last time the two men played head-to-head -head was about 30 years ago. Each tells a different story as to what happened on that day. Look at this. Moscone may have left himself in bad position. He did. This is not an easy shot to try to close it out. So perfectly done. So Willie Moscone has won the eight ball competition. Five games to two. There remains in the offing rotation. And if he should win the rotation, he will have won the best of five in the sets of different types of pool being played in the competition. That's a great woman pool player. Jeannie Belukas, as we get a shot of her. She was in the women's superstars. We'll be back later to see how the rotation competition turns out. Right now, let's go to the World 90-Meter Ski Jumping Championship and Al Michaels. Action in the Great Pool Shootout. This is the rotation competition. Willie leading three games to two. Right there. 15. As he works on the fourth game, if he can win it, he put away the three ball. Let me quickly explain rotation. You must go after the balls in ascending numerical order, beginning, 19. of course, with the one. Each ball has a point value equivalent to its number. The one is worth one, the two worth two, the three worth three, and so on. Thus, the total value in a game of all points, all balls, is 120. So the man who achieves 61 points first wins in rotation. Right now, Wally is calling his shot. It is on the six ball, and essentially, he has played it safe. Again, Wally Moscone set the rules Six with the knowledge and consent of facts, and you must call your no shots. Issues. The purpose, as Moscone saw it, to reduce the element of luck, increase the element of skill. Now, when you don't get a hit on the object ball, the opponent has the option of telling you to shoot again. And that's what Moscone did with Fats. And again, Moscone tells Fats to shoot again. Again, a little discussion over the rules that Fats agreed to, but didn't even want to know about prior to the advent of the competition. Now, Moscone has the lie the way he wanted it. 30. He is up to 30, moving toward 61, and once again has left himself admirable position. 
I watch him set himself for the eight right in front of you. The bottom of your screen. 45. And he has the nine ball. The ring ball to the left of your screen. Exactly where he wanted it. Fifty-four. Now he needs but one more ball, a ten ball. And what could be better than this? As the crowd shows its appreciation. Game. Game for Willie Moscone. He leads four games to two, needs but one more victory for victory in the total competition. What's we'll be sport, back. Uh, what two? You know what's really nice? This is game seven in the rotation competition. Oh, well, Willie Moscone oh, against off. Minnesota Fats. Oh, Moscone did. leading four games to two, but Fats leading in this game thus far two eight points. points to two. Moscone knows that if he can win this, he will have won the Great Pool Shootout because he's already won in nine ball, five games to three, in eight ball, five games to two. The winner? It's $15,000. Both players have already Seven. received substantial expense monies. Now, Moscone is up to seven points. He just sank the five ball. He's working on the six ball, the green ball, but looking ahead, as always, to the rest of the table. Thirteen. And so, he is now perfectly positioned for the seven and watch him set up the eight. 20. Willie Moscone, who more than a thousand times in his career has had runs of more than a hundred balls. 500 times he's run more than 200 balls. And once he ran 526 37. balls. He is now meticulous disciplined, sinking one after another as he approaches the magic number of 61, which, if achieved or surpassed, will give him the total victory. Uh, now, at 58 points, this could be oh. it the way Willie is Both playing. It pocket. figures to be it. And it is yeah. it. Willie Moscone has won the Great Pool Shootout. In point of fact, this has been one of the most fascinating events we've had on Wide World of Sports in a long time. No need now to go to Willie's specialty, straight pool or Fats's one pocket. It is over. First thing I want to do, Willie, is congratulate you on the victory and you, Fats, for being a sportsman in defeat. The final scores in nine ball, five to three, Moscone over Minnesota Fats. Eight ball, five to two, Moscone over Fats. And in rotation, five to two, Moscone over Fats. Fats, at the start, you expressed every confidence in victory, and then later, during the course of the competition, you kind of backed off and you became never, a total sportsman. Never packed off at all. I, just like it is. What is it? A man's a tremendous play. Anybody got any sense knows this man liable to beat anybody living, and I might beat anybody living. I ain't never lost in my life, so he beat me. What do you want me to do? Don't want you to do anything. Just say man, what you everybody said. Everybody living on earth knows man's been champion. Now he's 16 times champion. I've been champion of the earth ever since the turn of the century. I'll tell you now this. he's the champion of the earth. You're the best showman in the game. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Thank Matt. Willie, anything to say about Fats? You were under a great deal of tension. You felt you had to prove yourself. You've been out of competition a long time. I've been out of competition for many years. The last uh, competitive uh, uh, tournament I had was back in 1963, and then I had come out of retirement then for one tournament. But uh, I'm glad that he admits that I'm the greatest player. As we were leaving, he can do some things. Jimmy Karras. Here's the cowboy. Jimmy Moore, First shot. Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is a nine ball shot. I'm behind the seven, playing a nine in the corner. Watch the shot. I'm gonna watch it, Sal. <laughs> that didn't look hard. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in slow motion. Nice shot, or a hand quicker than the eye shot, this is called. Come on. That's why you always watch your opponent when you're playing pool. 
Well, I guess. I don't know what, what happened there. Cowboy <laughs> Jimmy Moore. Slow motion. Show you how it's made. Slow motion. I can follow him, Alan. You're going to see why it's called the hand quicker than the eye shot. <laughs> this is the way it's made. And this shot is guaranteed to start a fight. <laughs> I don't want to fight anybody. I'll play gin rummy. No fights. Cowboy Jimmy Moore, he is a character. He can also shoot pool. Hey, here's a guy who has a million disguises. Does he ever take this hat off, UJ Puckett? One time I seen him without his hat on him. <laughs> He's I... something. You had a chance to talk to him. This guy is a character, UJ Puckett. I first started with a Gulf filling station uniform, and uh, then I hadn't been around too much, so I found out that Texaco was was nationwide more than Gulf, so I changed the Texaco station uniform. And then, after it got to where you got, it finally got like after a few years that a, a Texaco film station man couldn't get a pool game anywhere. <laughs> Nobody hustles in a, in a uh, gas station outfit. That's funny. UJ Puckett, he was on 60 Minutes, that's something. <laughs> the great hustler. This, uh, is the uh, eight ball in the end pocket. Traveling three rails here, everybody's going to go around the table. Five rails. Five rails around the table in between all those balls and try and make the eight. If he hits a ball, he's going to have to hit the cue ball harder to make the eight. Hit two a little balls. harder, Utley. Uh, getting oh, on himself, oh. Utley. Well, that's the end of that. UJ Puckett used to fight <laughs> for a living. He said if he didn't knock him out in oh. the first round, it was over in the second. He'd get One knocked out. Time. He wasn't in shape. One more time, he says, Alan. <laughs> This time he won't touch a ball. Or... I'm a little weak. <laughs> He's a little weak. He's got the angle down now. Hits it hard enough. He shouldn't touch any oh, ball. Oh, looks just good, Alan. All <laughs> right, UJ Puckett. The crowd appreciates it. Love his hat. <laughs> oh, Willie Moscone. Here's a class guy, dapper. Looks good. You had a chance to talk to the dapper one. Sounded great, Alan. Alan, I was about six years old at the time, and I started playing a dancing school. My whole family were dancers in vaudeville many years ago, and that's what I was destined to be. But after the dancing lesson, I had to wait for an hour, hour and a half for my father to pick me up. Well, over in the corner, my uncle had a pool table. He liked to play pool. I knew nothing about it. Now, this uh, went on doing one whole summer. So at the end of the summer, I got so I could run all the balls up the table. Nobody knew it, but one day my uncle felt sorry for me, I guess. Uh, I was hanging around so much. He said, come on, kid, I'll play a game. So he busted the balls and I ran 15 off. <laughs> he said, do that again. Oh, I think I went run 10 or 11 before missing. Well, the next day he went out and had posters made, and I was playing an exhibition at the Friars Club in New York the following week. That was the start of the billiard career. Boy, you talk about nostalgia. There is a great pool player. Setting up his shot. All right. This is the shot that Jack, Jackie Gleason made in the motion picture, The Hustler. First time he played Paul Newman, he called the, sh the one ball out of the pack back into this pocket. Now let's see if we can make this yellow ball or one ball back in this pocket. This looks tough, Alan. Five kisses this one ball gets before it goes in the pocket. There we go. Oh, Great shot. What a shot that was. Willie Moscone. Let's take a look at this again, Al. I'll let you describe it. Two ball, kissing off the 12 ball, hitting the nine into the one, kissing off the seven and three, and going in the corner pocket. This is a shot that Paul Newman made in that picture, The Hustler. Uh, Gle uh, Gleason broke the ball, and he left the cue ball stuck behind the corner pocket. Paul Newman called the one ball, the yellow ball, out of the pack into this punt. Let's see if we can make it. Curve on this shot, you have to know where to hit the cue ball to make it on the side rail. Right there. Oh, what <laughs> there a go. shot. What a I shot, quit. Willie Moscone. He says, I quit. <laughs> hey, he's as good looking as Paul Newman. Might explain that bandage. He had a little surgery, and uh, that's why Willie uh, has a bandage. Let's take another look at the shot, Alan. Perfect angle. Hits the one ball, kissing it into the stripe ball, and pocketing it in the corner. Willie Moscone, you talk about nostalgia. Look at this shot. 
This is at least not too bad, huh? Stick with us. More coming up, right? Sure is, Irv. He's still very competitive. He looks very relaxed when you had a chance to talk to him. Well, in this game to win, Alan, uh, you can play well and lose. You can play fairly well and win. Uh, to win a tournament with a number of good players like you and the other fellas, you've got to play well and be lucky. Get the breaks. You can't win by just playing well, and you can't win by just being lucky. It's a combination of the two things, and I don't care what anybody tells you, you must play well and be lucky. Would you rather be lucky than good? Well, Herb, I'd, like, I'd like to have the combination he's talking about. If you can play well and be lucky. <laughs> on this shot, as you can see, there are four ringers on the table. 10, 11, 12, and 13. I'm going to play the 10 in the corner, the 11 in the 12 in the other corner, and the 13 in the side. Four balls and one shot. This looks tough. Very important they be set up right, Herb. He's going to split the two balls in the middle and make all four in one shot. <laughs> great shot. Oh, what a great shot by Irving Crane from Rochester, New York, the Deacon. Mm. Let's take another look, overhead angle. Well, that is some shot. One more angle, Al, I'll let you describe it. Splitting the two balls perfectly. The two balls in the middle go in the corner, and the other two, the side and, and the corner. Mm. Irving Crane, who was named the Rochester Man of the Year. Our colorful referee, Charlie Ursetti, introducing a newcomer, Rags Woods. He started out very young playing this game. Oh, I was 15 when I started playing pool. How did you get interested in pool? Well, I'll tell you, I passed by a pool room one day and heard the balls click. It's a funny thing, I was in high school, and I heard the balls click, and I went in to see what it was, and uh, they, were, they were rolling these balls around, and so then I stopped in a pool hall that was close to my house on the way to school, and the man let me in. I told him I was 18, and he let me in, and uh, then I never did go to school no more. I just... I'd leave home in the morning going to school and I'd go to the pool room, stay there till school was out. Then I'd come back home and tell my mother I'd been to school and then I'd go back to the pool hall again until time for me to come home. They thought I was out playing ball or something. A lot of mothers call and they want those kiddos in school. Don't listen, kids. Go to school. Get your education. All right. This is a nine ball shot, playing the nine ball in the corner pocket. Nine ball in the corner pocket. Now this looks like a time shot, Alan. Is this, is this tough as it looks? Definitely is. He's going three rails with the cue ball. But before he goes three rails, he's going to hit the one ball, making another ball come down and hit the nine ball into the six ball. And the nine ball makes the six. And it's going to hang by the corner pocket like it is going to now, and the cue ball. Oh, <laughs> so that wasn't an accident. The cue ball and the nine ball were supposed to meet down the corner. Ooh, you could lose some money in, uh, in this. Let's take a look. Especially if the cue ball gets there before the nine. Look at this time. Mm, good timing. Just Probably in time to make it. <laughs> yeah, I started out in Detroit, moved to L.A. Class guy. I've really been impressed with him. Considered as the greatest black player ever. Playing the one in the, one, the eight ball in the side pocket. Eight ball in the side pocket. How tough is this, Alan? Last time. He's going to have to move those four balls because they're in the way. So it's a combination bank with the cue ball knocking the four balls out of the way. The one ball will hit the eight, knocking it off the rail going cross side. Oh, look at this. Piece of cake. All you can right, show Robert. me how to do that one, I'm sure. <laughs> After the All show. Right. <laughs> Robert Ragswood. One more time. Describe it, Alan. Eight ball cross side. from our overhead angle. I like this angle. Piece of cake, folks. <laughs> ah, we're having some fun. Hope you're enjoying it. Stick with us. We've got a lot more coming up right after this message. The tux is Luther Lassiter. Alan, he's been around for half a century. He's played on every kind of table you can imagine. Traveled all over the country or playing pool. Different kinds of tables and also with different sets of balls. And in the old days, the balls, when there was a kiss shot that was on, it went. But today, with the new balls, kiss shots don't have to go. And he's setting up a 15-ball kiss shot now. I really liked how he was so straightforward with you about his opinions and what he really feels about pool. Yes, it is. And you get different different rubber on tables. You got over a bank, under a bank with different speeds. 
years ago, you could hit them with any speed, just so you'd sort of bank it perfect. And you had the ball. Kisses were the same way. You could measure them off perfect, and they would go. You try to measure them off now perfect, they won't go. You like the equipment today we're playing on? Yeah, because it's tougher. I wish they'd play with ping pong balls. You know, just make it just as tough as you could. Would you like to play with ping pong balls? Well, the pockets would be bigger, Irv. <laughs> we'll try to make a 15 ball combination. 15 ball combination. Listen to the clicks, Alan. 16 kisses. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that shot was on, Irv. Oh, I like that. Was that nice? Wimpy Lassiter, 16 kisses, and he made it look very easy. Jimmy Karras, guy who can do a few things with a pool stick. I like when you talk to him, guy straightforward. No, I started playing in a YMCA. I, I, I was in a junior Y, and I saw a checkerboard, you know, with little checkers on it. And they had a cue, and you hit one checker and hit the other checker into a pocket. That's when I first started. And then they had junior, little junior pool tables, and I saw the ball go in the pocket, and I, I became fascinated. And that's how I started. When did you first get your first pool table to play on? I, know, I never had a pool table home during those years. The homes weren't even large enough to accommodate a pool table. But my dad opened a, a billiard room in uh, Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, he used to let me go in on a Sunday because you weren't allowed to go in unless you were 18 in those days. And I would practice, and I started getting better and better all the time. The most I ever made him was six seconds, but I had to take the pocket off. If you shoot it too fast, they jam up. But what you have to watch out for is a miscue. Because the tip is hitting the ball 16 times. This guy started out playing pool the same way you did in the YMCA. Checker pool. <laughs> Oh, I like this shot, Alan. Very nice. <laughs> Jimmy Karras. <All> right. <laughs> Made it look easy, didn't he? Hey, this next guy needs no introduction. I was born and raised in New York and started playing pool at the turn of the century. New York City, you were born? New York City in Washington Heights. I hustled craps on a George Washington bridge when they built it. But why do they call you Minnesota Fats? They call me Minnesota Fats for several reasons. When they made the movie The Hustler, they didn't want to say New York Fats or Double Smart or Triple Smart Fats. That was my nickname. The shot smarts on Broadway called me Double and Triple Smart after I unraveled all of them. Oh, if we could just get Fat to come out of his shell. Say what's on his mind. <laughs> Every kid on earth would like to be here to see this shot for several reasons. They like to holler that they didn't all go in at the same time. You understand? And they're all arguing which one went in first. See if you can tell. Three ball. I'm what not going to argue with you. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a nice shot. Let's take another look, Al, see if it is a three. <laughs> Definitely are. <laughs> three ball. Minnesota fast. We're going to make the seven, eight, nine again. But I'll make it a little different. Cue's a little too long. Hair's too long. I'll make the seven, eight, and the nine. Going to kiss the seven in. Combine the eight in and kick the cue ball three cushion and make the nine. Speaking of three cushion service, that was his best game. This looks like a tough shot, Alan. Well, he's got to watch out for the kiss on the cue ball and the eight ball. He has to miss it. And he missed it and he comes around. Oh, he three made rails. it. Look at that. Oh, what a shot. Crowd likes it. Minnesota Fats. He is a character. Let's take one more look at this shot, Alan. Cue ball goes three rails, making the eight first, and the cue ball then making the nine ball in the corner pocket. I'm at the top of anything I want to do at all times, at all times. I'm the greatest ladies man in the world. I'm almost 100 years old. 
I make Bert Reynolds look like Mortimer Snade when it comes to tomatoes. You ought to know that. You see me operate. Mortimer Snare. You don't even know who Mortimer Snare is, Al. You're too young. <laughs> Never heard of it, huh? <laughs> Minnesota fans. The guy has got the W.C. Fields accent down. Hey, more trick shots coming up. You want to stick with us? It gets to be more fun. <laughs> Well, those are some legends from the last half century. We've got a future legend for you. Watch Lori John Oganowski in action. Next shot I'm going to do was made famous by Machine Gun Lou Butera. And it's called the over and under the bridge shot. And it's more of a skill shot than a trick shot because I'm going to pocket the one ball in the corner pocket. The cue ball will jump over the bridge, travel back under the bridge, and pocket the two ball in the corner pocket. Alan, this looks tough. It is, or she's going to have to elevate her cue and dig down into the cue ball, hitting the one almost in, on top of the ball and bringing the cue ball over the bridge with a lot of draw English, making the cue ball come backwards and make the two. And she has to make the one also. <laughs> Great oh, shot. and she jumps up in the air. She likes it. Lori John with a sensational shot. Oh, my goodness. I like that. Let's take another look. A lot of backspin on the cue ball here, coming back and popping the two ball. Boy, this looks interesting. Let's let Lori John just explain this one, because this could be, uh, <laughs> this looks like an interesting shot to me, Alan. The shot Alan. is called the railroad shot. And what's going to happen is the cue ball is going to act as the train, and it's going to go under the bridge and collapse the bridge, travel one, two, three rails, go up one railroad track, change tracks, and pocket the 11, 12, and the 13 in the side pocket. Are you kidding me? The railroad shot? How tough is this? <laughs> I've never seen this one before. I don't know. The balls in the middle of the table are just going to fall down and stay there. And the cue ball is going to go around three rails in between the two cues there and go around the pocket and then pocket the three balls on the stick. Up the oh, wow. stick, around the pocket, start coming down, knock those three balls in the pocket. Oh, it looked like it, it would have <laughs> done it alone, wouldn't it? Yes, it does. She didn't need to help it. Glory, <laughs> John. She's a good player, isn't she? Last year's champion, Irv. Nice effort by Lori John. I like that very much. The railroad shot, got to remember that. Oh, look at this. There's anyway Jerry Cooney. Uh-oh, I know that guy in that tux behind him. This is my partner, Alan Hopkins. You're not going to do this, Alan. You've been out in the sun too long. This guy will get up and, oh, <laughs> I know what you're going to do, Alan. Herb, do you know how nervous he is? <laughs> I'm going to knock the one nine ball right out of his mouth in the corner pocket. Look at those eyes. He didn't look like that against Holmes. Oh, what a shot. Alan Hopkins, I'm glad you made that, Alan. I enjoy working with you, and I'm not sure you'd still be around. Look at the size of that man. <laughs> ah, this is great, Alan. Folks out there got to get out and try some of these shots. I know I'm going to make you show me how to do some of these. <laughs> what a day we've had. I hope you've enjoyed being Every time no, I see a multi-millionaire wants to borrow something. He's got 30,000 acres in Fresno. Can you let me Sit have a little nine. loot? Let me try that. Yeah. I just give a drunk $5 out there. One ball. He lose 1,100, and he didn't have nothing to go home with. This is unbelievable. You'd think he'd pinch 100 to go home with. <laughs> Willie's got it. Meanwhile, Willie waiting till Fats finishes his roll. Two in the corner. Of a different sort. and uh, It won't bother Willie. No. Willie's oh. going to have to come three rails oh. on this shot here oh, and try and boy. hit the three ball. See him leaning over like you said before. I'll have oh, to leave yeah. one foot on the ground. Side, William. In the he changed. Side. Take he played it out. a little different. You know you ain't going to duck that all your life. <laughs> I don't know whether Willie can bank this ball or not. I can't back. tell from here. Huh? Three ball. Maybe I'll bank the three ball cross corner here. Now he got a kiss. Is the wrong ball? What'd he do, Charlie? Give us a run down. He missed. He missed. <laughs> Not him. Not the mightiest of all blondes. Willie, how could you miss a man of your caliber and your speed? Three ball. Oh. 
It was almost one heck of a shot. Yeah, it was a double bank shot in the corner, but I think he was trying to make it in the side pocket. Left Willie a very Green tough corner. shot. Left Willie frozen yeah, on the so back rail. If he plays me, they'll send him to Byberry. Look at here, you're gonna luck out again? William, cut it out, will you please? <laughs> William, please. Please, William. Three in the corner. You got guys hustling me cards I'm playing so big. Huh. Got that one. I banked that one. Four in the corner. I said I banked that one, Charlie. Oh, I used to play Five pretty good. Side. Don't get excited. Why, you know, why should we say anything? Eh? That's Let your side. Uh, oh. That is your side. That's what I want. That's the side I want, Charlie, because I'm going to bounce this one in there. That's me over signing? Yes. Well, oh, don't worry about it. Oh, Charlie. Cross side. <laughs> oh, he thinks oh, he's I got would, this. I haven't missed one of these since the World War I. This is a tough thing. This isn't an easy one. Oh, and he got it with authority. Game fast. He ties it up at uh, two all in seven ball. He three to one. No, oh, I'm sorry. Fatty's got three, doesn't Fatty he? Fatty got the three. Three to one. Three to one. Fats. My mistake. Fats with the three yeah, to one lead over Willie Moscone. We could go extra innings. Imagine this. <laughs> Thank you. Four straight and nine ball. He won the first and seven ball. Looked like, okay, see you later for Minnesota Fats. Game five, seven But as his game is picked up, so is the laughter, and usually they go hand in hand. Could be a good possibility, Chris, this goes into the eight ball. That should be an interesting match with Fats and Moscone Game five, Fats leads three games to one. Eight ball, that's one of his best games, too. Oh, a lot of action on the seven there, but it's not going to go. No ball is pocketed on the break. Mr. Marsconi shoots. Everybody thinks it's a joke. When I tell you, somebody lay a thousand dollars to a nickel, I don't never exaggerate. <laughs> I tell it like eighty percent. Hasn't left Willie much of a shot here. What side, Willie? <laughs> what side of the table? <laughs> okay, playing the one ball. All right. Oh, Sit yeah. down, please. He's going to play a, a bank shot or a safety. He's probably going to play a safety on the one ball. Yeah. Okay. He's taking a good look. Got to hit that one first. Yeah, he's got a bad leave here. He's going to play safety. Put the one down by the two safety ball and bring the cue ball up table behind the three ball if he can get it there. And a nice shot. Made a great shot. Put it right where he wanted Your to. Good shot, Fatty. Yeah, I'm going to give him my money. I wouldn't give Capone my money. Playing the one. You ain't never seen one like me. I'm really something. I'm proud of myself. I guess he is. Yeah, he sure is. Really something, He's got a tough boy. shot here, too. Made it. Nice shot. <laughs> he's, uh, all of a sudden, he's, he's like, he's looking like he's not. What happened there, William? Fired it in. He's not uh, eyeing up the shots very much. Yeah, he's looking for 10 points. Let's not lose sight of this. He could get 10 points. A lot of folks figured that he would get ball. swept against Moscone, whether he wins or not. If he can get doing. 10 points these, out of this one. These youngsters, they don't know. Huh. If you're old, he's seen well. me before. He needs, he needs this game to win the six. When I win the seven ball. Mm -hmm. He's got a good chance to win it, 10 too. points. <laughs> Gets the three. Four in the corner. Four in the corner. The fawn. He's got a good chance of running out here. He's, mm -hmm. He gets on the five ball. He's got five on the five ball. ball. If he gets on the six, he figures to win the match. Where am I? What side? Over there? Well, ain't that part. I knew it all the time. <laughs> I knew it all the time, Charlie. Six in the corner. Good got a chance to win it now. Win out. Seven you know where ball. that's going, don't you, Charlie? Huh? Three over guys. in Sadie's room. This is me over here? That's your, that's your side. Well, Rack, what are you waiting for? Rack them up. Does it go? Oh. Now, how did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> over... uh, he overcut the seven ball, hit it to the side rail. Was a tough, was a tough this shot. Nice side, Overcut yeah. the ball, hit it too much right here. Right most likely hit it into the side, side rail. Right now. Well, the ball was running. He should rack him up, but not yet. Yeah, Willie's got a tough shot. He's going to play a safety. Charlie! 
I'll make this over there in Sadie's room, Charlie. <laughs> Going for Sadie's room. Oh, boy. Loss of game. Scratched on the seventh ball. He loses the game. So he was within a shot of he scratched on that getting ball. the 10 points. And now Moscone back in it. He trails 3-2. Two. Two. That could have cost Fatty the session. Mm -hmm. He may not get another chance. You better take your chances when you get a Willie. He may not get another shot. Yep. Because Willie. Willie's got a few tough rolls with Fatty. Willie's been quiet. He's uh, ready to bounce in there. Give that feeling. Scores three games to two. Favor of Fat. Here's the break. Seven moving around. Does another one hit it? No. Okay, he's got the side on where the seven ball is. Two Willie's ball, one in on the break. Playing the one. Willie's got a tough run on here. He's going to have to bank the seven ball. You know, but he's going to come around three rails here on the three ball. And one goes. One, two, three, and he comes out for the three ball. Perfect. Three ball in the corner. The two's already sunk on the break, so now he's looking for the three. That's the red ball. He'll play the three, and he'll draw the ball back for the four ball. Four in the corner. He'll play the four and he'll, in the corner, and he'll draw the ball up a little bit for the five. Nice shot. Five in the corner. Looks like he hits him so hard, and the cue ball hardly moves after he hits the, the object ball. And he controls that ball right where he wants to. He'll come one rail and over for the six ball here. Very nicely done. Good shot. Six in the corner. Willie will come up the table right near the, right around near the side pocket to bank the seven ball cross side or in the corner. Either way, it depends where he gets on the ball. He may play the ball cross oh. corner now. Seven ball cross corner. He's got to go the opposite side. Yeah. He'll hit this easy. Does it go? No. Missed it. This is a tough shot. Thought I had it for a minute. Left Fatty a uh, cross corner bank, one of Fatty's favorite shots. It's a one pocket shot. Fatty, Fatty will probably make this ball. Rack him up. He said rack to rack him. Set that time he was not yeah. kidding. The nice. set to Minnesota Fats. He wins the seven ball four to two. Moscone won the nine ball four nothing. That means we go to the tie break. Extra innings. Who to thunk it, right? <laughs> We're going to eight ball two out of three when we return. And we are back in Atlantic City, New Jersey, the Claridge Hotel and Casino with the legendary stars of Pocket Billiards. We're in eight ball between Willie Moscone and Minnesota Fats. Moscone leads one game to none. Two out of three will win this match as they split their earlier ones. Moscone beat Fats in the nine ball, but Fats came back to win the seven ball. Two of the biggest names, not the biggest in Pocket Billiards. Oh, it's well known. Well, so well known, sure. You may not be a big fan of the sport, but you know this these two rude. guys. You I have sure to do know them. I play oh, you with do. them enough. <laughs> you do. But I mean, uh, viewers, uh, whether they casually follow pocket billiards or they're ardent fans, they know these two. Fatty's got a tough run out here. He, he's chosen the low balls. And the two ball and the seven ball are going to be very tough for me to get break Five out. Five in the corner. I'm going to play the combination here, the four ball into the combination six ball. Combination four into the six. He should make this. This is a rather simple combination. But he hasn't played any position. Well, he's run four already. Four on his side. He's got three to go in the eight ball. He could knot it up. Well, he's going to be in a lot of trouble, though. He doesn't oh. have a shot. Even if he made that, he wouldn't have had a shot. He didn't have no pocket. No pocket. Yeah, Willie's got his work cut out for him. This is a tough run out here. If Willie runs out, it would be a great run out. The balls are all clustered together on the boundary. He's going to have to break Nine them ball. open. He's going to come around two rails for the 12 ball. In the side pocket. I don't he comes out a little too hard. It. He may shoot the 11 ball and break open the mm -hmm. 10 ball. going to break open that cluster sooner or later. 11 in the side. One shot, baby. Oh. Willie Moscone, whose reign over the sport in the 40s and 50s has really been unparalleled, at least in modern times. Got a tough Maybe shot. Maybe Ralph Greenleaf 
some of the, his runs earlier in the 20s and so. It's hard to believe that Ralph Greenleaf was better than Willie Marsconi when you watch Willie play. Marsconi will say that he always idolized him, and that's where he really got his first big break. A lot of respect, Willie may say that. 12 ball on the side. And then he'll play the 14 ball. Oh, the corner. straight, baby. You know, he got his real. No, uh, well, he thought it would go the other his way. His first name when he went on an exhibition with Greenleaf and almost split their 100 plus games. He was a young man then. He's going to have to get on that 15 ball somehow. He may shoot to 15. No, 14. he's going to shoot to 14 first. He's going to come around for oh. 15 after oh. he shoots 13. He's got his work cut out here, Chris. He's going to make sure he gets a shot ball. at the 15 ball. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Okay, why did he miss this, Alan? Well, he jumped up on the shot one reason. and see him jump up on the shot. and. And he had to get up on the 15 ball, make sure he got a shot at the 15. He tried to cheat the pocket, which cost him the shot. Sounds like he's sawing wood, doesn't he? Well, he wants <laughs> to make sure he don't miss Q here. He's, if he gets out this game, he's, he's going to be a favorite to win the uh, eight ball. This match. ain't too good right here. I don't know where the two ball, ball can go, if the two ball can go. I don't think he can make the two in the corner here. Hard to tell, but I think mm -hmm. the eight ball. I think the eight ball is blocking the pocket. She can't go. He's going to have to draw the cue ball into the two and the uh, can't go the two and the eight. He's going to shoot the four on the side and draw the cue ball back. He checked out most of the pockets. He's going to about his third or fourth choice now. Oh, he's following the ball. Got to bank it up. He's looking for the for the cheese. Well, he's not even going to get a shot at it. He's going to make it left safe. No, he got a shot at it. Yo. He made it. Very Does nice. Does he leave himself a shot at the gate? Yeah, he's Paying got the, the eight straight in. Yes, sir. Should make it. Made a nice shot on the two ball. We're tied. So what do you know? We're going to root. Willie Moscone and Minnesota Fats. We are going to the final game of eight ball. The winner gets the match. The loser to tell some stories. We'll tell our story when we return in a moment. Chris Berman and Alan Hopkins back at the Claridge Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Well, it's, if you tuned in late, you missed a lot of good action, but it's the last two minutes of a tight NBA game. The tiebreaker of the tiebreakers. Mr. Hopkins. Two out of three. The eight ball <laughs> race. Your I split I never the first seen two one like games. Fat man. Minnesota Fats. Who <laughs> fat. And you never is will. talking to Alan right now and Willie Moscone. Whoever wins this game wins Whoever the match. Whoever wins simple. this game wins the cheese. No balls pocket on the no break. Balls Your choice pocket is around the break. <laughs> All right, they win the cheese, not the match. They win both match and cheese. Get one extra point for the cheese. I'll tell you, he's, he's, he's got a little bit of a tricky run out here. It really doesn't have that much of an easy shot. He's got the two ball. He's got the nine ball. He's going to shoot the nine ball. I missed it. You didn't think we'd get this far, did you? No, I didn't. I, uh, I picked Marsconi oh, to win it. Huh? Shots. Thought it would be quick, but aha. Uh -huh. Willie! <laughs> yeah, I did think it would be quick. I don't think Faddy's going to get out of here. Faddy's going to tough. What a tough run out here. Okay. At least dealing on the stripes. He's got the high ball. Marsconi the low ball. Nine. the nine did on. Then he can make the 10 here and break open the 14 and five. Make the 10 ball on the side. 10. Got it. Well, he caught a bad break there. Well, he might have caught a better break here. He might have to 12. Mm -hmm. He can break open the 14 now. Uh, ball, the 13 ball. for protection, even if he hits it bad. No, he didn't. No, he it. missed it. It's going to cost him the session not breaking open those balls. That's he's playing well, isn't Yes, he is playing well, but he's got Nothing a problem. Nothing will go nowhere. He's got a problem with the 14 ball. There's nothing he can do here. 13. He's going to have a hard time breaking this open.
15 ball. Right, where are we going with the 15 in the corner, Chris, but he really doesn't have anything he can do with the 14 ball unless he comes back down table for the 14 in the other corner. Let's see what he does. Wow. He hit it too hard. He's got a shot at it. He cut the 14 in the 14. corner. Oh, that's a nice shot. They win the game if you don't get behind the two ball. Boy, what a bad break. He must hit the eight ball or he loses the game, set, and match. Oh, if he doesn't hit the eight, he loses the game. Oh, a little pressure, huh? A lot of pressure here. He, he's got himself in a real tough spot. I don't even think he I'll hit, hit it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh-oh. That is loss of game, set, and match. Oh, Mr. boy. Mastoni wins. That's a tough way to go. These two fellas have played so very well. And the scratch on the eight, but Willie Moscone wins the 20 points. Minnesota Fats wins the 10. So, Moscone wins, but it was a little tougher than anticipated. We'll be back with more right after this timeout. And the master, Willie Moscone, against Minnesota Fats. Uh, you've played him hundreds, thousands of times, and you finally win the eight ball competition scratches on the eight ball. Has that ever happened between the two of you? No. In fact, this is the closest he has ever come to winning, but he he played better tonight than I've ever seen him play. He got a little lucky, too. <laughs> what do you think, Alan? One question, Willie. All the times we've played together, have you ever seen Fatty play as well as he had tonight? No, no. That's uh, just what I said. It's the best I've ever seen him play. Me, too. Yeah. The best I've seen him play. Well, you say everybody gets a little lucky, but you have to be good to be lucky. This man certainly is. He knows how to play, and he's a good bank, uh, a bank shot player. He knows all the angles on the table. It's just, uh, I think he had, he has been practicing more so than he has in the last few years. Don't you think definitely. so, Alan? He's definitely been. Here. Yeah. Okay. He's been practicing, but so have you. And we will see the two gentlemen to my left, Willie Moscone and Alan Hopkins, when we return for more action in coming days from Atlantic City. I'm Chris Berman. So long.